Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the new heel tool in Capture 120. This is a big update from the previous version, so I'm excited to see how does this cope with a beauty photo where the model has a lot of blemishes. Also, stick around till the end of the video and I'll explain how you can get access to live editing sessions where you can ask me questions in real time. Okay, so let's get started. The heel tool can be found here in the layers panel or by pressing the keyboard shortcut Q. So let's take a look at the brush settings. So for this tool to blend seamlessly, I want to use a really low hardness, somewhere from zero to 20. So depending on the photo, see what works and experiment, but I'm gonna leave mine at zero. I also want my opacity and flow set to 100. And I'm going to uncheck the airbrush and the pen pressure. So every brush stroke is exactly the same and there's no variation. So I have more control, which is always something I prefer when I'm editing or retouching. I'm also going to uncheck the link all the brushes. So this means any of the brush settings I apply here are independent of any of the other brushes, say for cloning or masking. I'm going to leave the display arrows checked so I can see what I'm doing more clearly as well. So let's come over to the photo. So whenever we're healing, we want the brush size to be just a bit bigger than that area. So I can use my square bracket keys just to increase or decrease the size. And I can just tap or brush and capture one is going to add a source point. So let's switch to the pan cursor tool and I can just drag the photo um, up and I can just get that source point and drag it to another area that might fit better. So this source point is calculating the luminosity and the color in this area and trying to blend it with the chosen area. So I want to pull this closer to that blemish and into this more highlighted area so it ble blends seamlessly. So let's try this area here. So I'm gonna make a bigger brush stroke and again, I'm gonna select that source point and I'm gonna drag it over into the more uh, highlighted area to get a better match. So that works for me. So let's try here. Oh, I can undo with Command Z on the Mac. So let's select that source point and bring this over. And let's try here, let's decrease that brush a bit and I'll get it closer as well. And Capture One is blending this very well. So I'm really happy with the result. I think I just have to pay attention to that effect. And if it's not quite right, I can just move that source point. So that works well. So let's try here. Let's try down here. So I'm gonna move that. And I can also brush over another area brush over the same area, excuse me, if I want to add, if I want to add to that effect. So let's try down near her lips. So it's a bit dark, so let's go a bit higher up and let's try brushing over again. So that works for me. Let's try this area. And the great thing with this update, you can have unlimited sources on this one layer. Whereas in the previous version, you could only have one. So this is a huge update, which I'm really happy about. So let's try this little line here. So if I just drag and let's bring that a bit closer. Let's try here and here. And I'm gonna to switch to the pan cursor tool and just try the area on her chin. So let's brush over that again. So you can see Capture One didn't make another source point because it thought this area was a good area to source from and that works for me, so I'm happy with that. If I don't like the source point, I can always just select it and now this orange line shows me this is the active source point. So I can now press backspace to delete that and let's do that again. And if I want to keep using the same source point, I can just select it so it's active and then I can just tap somewhere else and now Capture One will always use this source point. So I'm going to Command Z and undo that and let's try this area again. So let's just move and that again was using that source point. So let's deselect this and now I can have a brand new source point. Yeah. 
And I can also brush over. And actually this area I'm not too happy with. It looks a bit flat. So let's pull this more into the highlighted area so we are matching that luminosity. And let's reduce the brush and just get this area here. And let's get here. And a few of these smaller areas. So over on the cheek. And that looks good to me. So we can now right click to bring up the brush settings and I'll just uncheck display arrows so I can see more clearly. So maybe let's do this area here. And that works for me. And with the new update, you also have this before tool, which is great. I can now just see quickly a before and an after. So that's worked really well. I'll definitely be incorporating this into my workflow. Maybe for a photo like this, it might still be quicker to go into Photoshop, um, but I will certainly be using this heel brush when I have some um, simple distractions. If the model has a couple of blemishes, I can do this in Capture One now. And I always prefer doing as much as I can in Capture One because with the raw file, I have all of the information, the details, um, so it's my preference to get as much done as possible in Capture One. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, like it and um, subscribe if you want to see more tutorials in Capture One and Photoshop um, with retouching. And if you do want access to those live sessions, you can just go over to my Facebook group and um, I'll add a link in the description and you'll be able to ask me questions in uh, real time. So you'll get a bit more one-on-one -on -one support, which I hope is a help to people. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.